So, what do you think, Ryan? You know, this is a great co conference. Uh, customers are extremely excited and, and happy to be here. Uh, one of the rare things that you see in, in customer events, uh, there have been some interesting announcements, uh, a retail solution that's uh, coming out, e-commerce solution, and really just some of the success stories behind 60 deployments of Epicor 9. Okay. What about challenges to the company has at this moment in time? Well, they're at $500 million, and they're trying to move up market, and they have to figure out how they're going to build a vertical strategy. So the question is, what verticals do they keep? What verticals do they move uh, and expand onto? And there really is a three to four year opportunity for them to take market share away from Oracle or SAP in the divisions and subsidiaries. So the question is, how will they deploy that? How will they expand? Are they going to remain in a direct partner model, direct model, or will they move towards a partner model to expand sales? Okay. We've heard a little bit about uh, Epicor Express. On what you've heard, what do you think? I think the move to software as a service makes sense. However, in this market, what is happening is there is a dichotomy, uh, really, in terms of people who want to go to SaaS and people who want to remain on premise. And I think as they test the waters, uh, in terms of SaaS using the Express product, I think they'll figure out where their sweet spot is. I think it's pretty hard at this point for a lot of manufacturers to consider going to software as a service. Mm -hmm. But the service based industries are really looking at software as a service as an option, and the newer customers may look at that as another option. What I hope they do is look at deploying specific types of applications to both on-premise customers to kind of expand their base and go on the offense for software as a service. So what's your impressions of um, uh, perspective? I think it's a pretty good turnout. I mean, a thousand customers, 1,500 people in all. It's not a bad turnout for the economy as it is at the moment. Okay. I think the customers were that they've been here that I've spoken to have seemed pretty positive in terms of what they're hearing and what they're trying to do with Epic or Nine. So I think it's good. I think it's also difficult for them in terms of the upgrading process and when to do that. So I think people are a lot in question mode, but uh, but the, quite a lot of positivity here. Okay. And what about the challenges for the company as things stand at the moment, economy aside? Uh, one of the things I want to see them doing is more. Uh, push internationally in terms of getting the message out there. Uh, they've got, they already have uh, about 25% of their um, uh, revenue coming from outside the international. Take out the CRM bit, and it's a bit more than that. Uh, and so, so uh, or rather the the, uh, the retail, they have more than that. So I'd say uh, I'd, I want more international push, and I think that's one of the things they need to do: be a little bit less US centric and push further out. It's hard to do because they've got to get their people trained up and skilled to be able to launch Epic or Nine properly around all of those regions. But I think that's where the opportunity lies. What would you advise them to do if, um, if they were to turn to you in that context? I, I think one of the areas they need to be focusing on is, is uh, as a tier two to some of the bigger organisations. So where somebody's got SAP or got Oracle, mm. uh, but, all, but needs to have something for a regional capability, then there's no reason why Epicor can't satisfy that requirement and uh, I think they need to be doing more of that uh, in the international market and they used to do it of course in the Scala days and I don't see as much of that emphasis now and whilst they like to be thinking they're, they're pushing from an enterprise level I think they could also be doing more in mid-market in terms of that tier two opportunity. Okay, uh, we've been hearing some little bits and pieces about um, Express Lite or Epicor Express however they want to call it. Yeah. I mean, what's, what's your feeling on what you've heard so far? I think it, they're putting a toe in the water. I don't think this the Express product is really, really low end. It's a very, very light footprint in terms of capability and the intent is to try and get to you know, maybe the 10 user type, very, very low mom and pop type uh, situation. Mm. And I think it's going to take them a while to actually scale that up to be anything more. Uh, it, it, but it's indicative of where the market is right now. I think a lot of people are looking at the software as a service as a, as a, as a cost benefit opportunity and see with the idea of, well, actually, I'm not too sure how I want to get it delivered. I just want to reduce my cost and reduce my capital outlay. So I think they're, they're going with the market in terms of, of uh, where it is. But it's very fledgling days, and I think it's got a way to go before it actually gets to be a, a, a serious opportunity for them. And again, I, I'd see that as an international play as well. That I think in emerging markets, they could have a, a good opportunity there, but they need to structure themselves to be able to support that and obviously have the hosting capability to be able to do that. And at the moment, they're really very US centric in terms of that thought mm. process and, and what they're doing with the product. What about um, the potential to compete effectively with say business by design? I mean we know that by design is kind of in the uh, 
in the weeds at the moment, but um, how would you see I that? I don't see the two things competing that head-to-head -head because if I'm an, ex an existing SAP customer and business my design is, is an opportunity for me in my regional outlet, then I'm going to use that. I'm not going to get to use Epicor in, in that situation. So I think there's the threat there, if you like, if business by design against the express product. But I think that realistically, this is really uh, Epicor, just like a lot of the other players, creating themselves a software as a service offering to be able to go into that small footprint to learn, really. They're learning how to go about this and how to monetize this because SAP hasn't really worked out how to monetize business by design correctly yet and I don't think anybody else has and so I, so I think that's, and even the net suites of this world of whilst they're growing and they're doing very well, well they're doing so particularly internationally with small footprints and I think it's going to take a while before that actually takes off too much more than that.